welcome. Let's pick up where we left off last week on the housing notice H2004 that you are going to read. Hopefully you've had time to read the notice. E-signatures may result in being beneficial to you in our new norm. The notice pertains to all HUD forms and owner-created documents that may be signed, transmitted, and stored electronically and their security. The notice gives us a definition for a wet, digital, and digitized signature and states which is considered the most secure. Be aware, the notice does not change the nature or use of required documents. The guidance remains the same. In your reading, I'm sure that you saw that there were three transaction laws. The five requirements for signing the process, which will satisfy requirements and guidance of the three e-transaction laws are, one, electronic form of signature. The notice lists several samples in section 5B. Number two, intent to sign. The fact that an electronic transmission has a digital signature does not mean that it is legally binding. It must be executed or adopted by the signer with the intent to sign. Understand, intent to sign. Intent is a critical component of any legally binding signature. He or she must have been, not have been, coerced to sign the document. Number three, association of signature to the record. There is to be a relationship between the document and the signer. Number four, identification and authentication of the signer. Know and verify that the person indeed is the person who should be signing the document. It will be hard to prove in court if they deny signing the document. So you have to have your proof that you know that it was indeed them that signed. Number five and lastly, integrity of the signed record. Now this means that you have to provide appropriate data security for both the record and the signature. It's important that the record and or process indicate the signer's intent to sign the record. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.